there's a lot of turbulence, whether it's instability, a combination of, you know, what people are not sure what to do, economics, and people are leaving the big countries to flood to the islands. And one of those islands is the Dominican Republic. Yeah. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Andy Jean here. We are in Miami at the famous Art Rock Cafe and Casino, all the way from Dominican Republic. We are here because of the Mike Ferry Conference, but next to me is the one and only Audrey. Welcome. Thank you. Miami. Yeah, super excited. Are you representing Messi? Yes. <laughs> I'm just yes. <laughs> By the way, you're here on business, obviously. Yes. When you're in Miami, you're going to make the best of it. Rather, it's business, you're going to have a little pleasure. So, we're in the beautiful Hard Rock Casino and Cafe. But what do you do in Dominican Republic to be shiny like you? <laughs> so I'm an expert in real estate, working for real tour the R, and I'm also a professional water sport woman. There's a lot of turbulence, whether it's instability, a combination of, you know, what people are not sure what to do, economics, and people are leaving the big countries to flood to the islands. And one of those islands is the Dominican Republic. Yeah. What have you been noticing spike of leave of war to the Dominican Republic? Why is that? What is, what's been... The cause. Yeah, well, the Dominican Republic, did you know, and it is such a great place because of the weather, because of easy to travel, you don't need to have a visa to come into the country. And also, if you want to invest, it's a great place, which will give you great return because you can rent your place on Airbnb. And we have a lot of tourism on the North Coast. So it's just such a great, friendly place, a great culture, great food, great for your kids, great for water sport. Right. So, yeah, so that's why it's just all together, it's a great place to live and to invest your money as well. But being in the Dominican Republic, I noticed that people move around a lot. There's a lot of water activities, there's a lot of land activities. People don't have a problem just to wake up early in the morning and go to the beach. Yeah, really? yeah, yeah. I wake up at five o'clock every morning. I'm in the water at six o'clock with sunrise. I have like an hour and a half of surfing with my husband. The kids are also surfing. And then you go to work and you're relaxed and chill because you start the day the right way. And you know, it's all about starting the day the oh, right way. So when you get time to work, are you working like what? Like me, six days a week when I was here, seven days a week? I work every day, but I mostly surf, work. And then in the afternoon when the wind picks up, I go windsurfing and then I come home and I work again. So I work according to the condition, That's but right. I'm available all the time. Just not when I'm on the water. I, I completely understand. Now, I've been getting a lot of questions, and I want to talk a little bit. I know you said you're the real estate expert. I know that you are in, in, an avid sports woman, but I've been hearing some things about the DR. Some of it is good, and some of it is not so good. One of them is safety. Tell me about safety, because some folks are a little bit scared. They think islands, they think donkeys, and, and no electricity. Yeah, yeah. No, it's uh, the Dominican Republic is one of the safest places. I arrived when I was a single lady, a young person, and I would feel safe walking home at night. It's like a some small community. Everybody know each other. Right, yeah. It's like I say, like any place in the world. You wanna, you don't wanna go in the dark place, you know, remote. You just want to stay on the beach where there's action, where there's people, where there's restaurant. You know, everywhere in the world, there's bad place to go and there's bad review. But the Dominican Republic in general, especially the North Coast where we're located, it's just like a lot of tourists. Let's see, there's police, tourism police who check on you. It's an extremely safe place. It's like if my car breaks down, there's always going to be someone on the street wow. to help me out. Old-fashioned <laughs> living as a community. So therefore, it is a family-friendly Island to live on. Yeah, and my stepson is 24. He was born in the Dominican Republic. He went to school in the Dominican Republic, and he practiced surf with us. Wow. And it's also great for the family because you have the kids instead of being on the iPad, they're playing right there in on the beach with you, and they're playing outdoor 365 days in the year. Well, I'll tell you, I've experienced that firsthand. I think even as an adult, we play outside more than we used to. I personally don't have a TV in my home at all. I have a nice sized yard and I spend, find myself spending more time outside. And that's also healthy for your body, for your skin, for your mental. Now, I know people also seek um, serenity, meditation, 
Can you tell us a little bit about that holistic life that also exists in Yale? Absolutely. So the Dominican Republic is a great place. You're talking about healthy, right? Yes. So it's all healthy. It's about your mental, your body, but it's also about what you eat. So we have a lot of organic food. We have a lot of places where you can have your yoga session, your meditation, and there's also a lot of gym where you can work out. There's tennis, there's horseback riding, there's the mountain. You can do mountain bike, you can go horseback riding. The water sport we just talked about. Wow. So how much more healthy you want like that, right? Yes. And you can oh, do that with your family, with your husband, with your friends. It's just a great community all together. While people are watching, people are have questions, they have concerns. But what is one tangible thing that someone could do right now? To at least get a piece or at least a glimpse of this paradise which you've been enjoying for the last what 20 plus years 27 years 24 years oh, yeah i would say take action take you know action. life is now you want to live now you want to enjoy your body you want to enjoy your wife your spouse your kids life or do now so one thing i would tell them take action come to the dominican republic if you need any information contact us That's we right. know that and but take action do it now life is now Absolutely, absolutely. You know, one of the great, one of the great things that I like about Real to the ER is that you guys have such a diverse group of professionals, real estate agents, like from all over the world. Tell me, even what's the secret sauce? What makes this to be so, so VIP? I mean, they've been servicing from the the smallest condo to properties that you can't even find on the MLS anywhere in the country or even in the world. Yeah, well, we first of all we are professional. Right. We like to also work with professional. We work with other agents, which also are professional. So we invest a lot of money, a lot of energy to work with the community, to have the knowledge. That's the reason we're here at the Mike Ferry uh, conference, yeah. right? Because it's all about keep getting more knowledge to be able to educate clients who want to live that life that we love so much. And we have people coming from all over the world at Real Told You Are, speaking three languages, four languages, French, English, Spanish, German, Russian, you name it. We speak. Tu parles français aussi? Oui, bien sûr. Enchanté. Enchanté. Écoute, I just want to end it with this, right? You, you, and I love how you just broke it down. Visit the Dominican Republic. Come see it for yourself. There is family. There is education. There is health. Now, some folks are afraid, especially the elderly. Is there medical care? Is there hospitals? Is there, you know, if I'm retiring somewhere, I need to know if I need my medication or if I need to be able to go to the doctor. It's easy accessible. I don't have to fly back to where I, you know, some need. Of course, and it is important, right? Just not only when you're older, but when you're young and active. So in Susua, we have something which we call CMC, which is Central Medical. So it's a clinic where they have all different type of doctor. Uh, there's an ambulance. So in case of any accident, we call the ambulance. They bring you right away to the Centro Medico in Sosua. And we also have different clinic in Costa Plata, Santiago, all over the island. I myself had surgery on my knee a couple of years ago, and it was fantastic. I had a great recovery. I had a great doctor. So uh, it's, it's, it's very good health care here on the island. Well, listen, you did a great job explaining everything. Now, I want everybody watching, take action. The Medicare Republic has become the new paradise that you say, Taven. For anybody, even family, say, well, if you try it, visit. You have Audrey over here, who's a professional, not only in her life, but a professional surfer. And I love it, and I can't wait to see you surf. So I look forward to it. Ladies and gentlemen, we came here to the Mike Ferry Conference, and we're here at the beautiful Hard Rock Cafe. Falcons to Audrey. Thank you very much. For your time. You're welcome. Thank you, Andy. Appreciate it. All right. <laughs>